Afternoon, everybody. This is Lightning ESL. We talked about the letters of the alphabet. We talked about vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Next, we know the vowels. We know the letters of the alphabet. Let's put it together. How do we do that? Well, there's many ways to find reference about this thing. We call them dictionaries. Dictionaries. D-I-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y is a dictionary. This is one of them. Yeah, this is just one of them. Webster's Dictionary. Dictionaries come in all different forms, sizes, number of pages, etc. They're online as well. Your phone has predictable words or a dictionary. But always remember, when you're learning words for the English language, no matter where it comes from, in other words, on a screen on your computer, in a newspaper, a book, here are the words, whatever. Always keep one of these handy. Why? Because you'll hear a word or you'll see a word printed out. And you're wondering, what does that word mean? This word is new to me. What do I do? Use one of these books. Again, the cost of these is very cheap. Anywhere from $5 to $50 to $100 and so on. All different sizes. And the beautiful thing is, they're in paper. In paper. So, looking for a word, you find the word, highlight the word, look at the word, Look at the dictionary meaning of that word. You'll understand the meaning. And it also tells you how to pronounce that word. For example, the first letter of the alphabet is A. A, 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 A. But A is also pronounced A, like the word ant. Yeah. So remember that. The word A in the first letter of the alphabet can be used many ways. A, A, A. A or A. A or A. For the same letter which it happens to case the first letter of the alphabet, which is A. Till next time. Bye bye.